This is a special report. The following is an excerpt from the Infinite Loops writing project from Space Battles. Despite the eternal smile he always wore, Sands was mad, confused, and frightened all at once. Frisk had been awake since the beginning of the loop, and there hadn't been any signs of it being a variant, yet monster genocide had been taking place, as evidence from all the dust and craters. The only MLE that could have done such on a quiet level was Dio, but even he would have left enough signs to suggest his presence. So Sans simply stood at the final corridor to Asgore's throne room, awaiting the inevitable. And the inevitable had come, as signaled by the echo of approaching footsteps. Sans made a mental note, but they sounded like bare feet against the tile. Hey, he stuck to the script. You seem like you've been busy. Dedication is the key to inner success. To play the Sega Saturn until your fingers snap and twine. Excuse me? Sans took a better look at his Japanese opponent. He wore a simple karate gi and had curly black hair. His expression was a neutral one that could give Frisk's default face a run for their money. PLAY TILL YOUR FINGERS BREAK! He screamed. Sans just groaned, failing to understand. Yeah, not in a punny enough mood to put up with this. He summoned a wall of bones, then hurled them towards the man, followed by three gastroblaster shots. He was stunned to see him headbutt the incoming calcium masses, shattering them into pieces. If that hadn't surprised him into shock, then the careless backhand slapping of his laser blast certainly would have done it. Whoa, what? Who are? Oh, where are you? He failed to dodge the incoming man as he grabbed Sans and effortlessly judo threw him into the floor. The last thing the chubby skeleton heard before he blacked out was the echo of an explosion. Sans awoke in a panic, his eyes ablaze with energy. Sans, calm down! Papyrus placed his hands on his brother's shoulders, refusing to let go until Sans stopped panting heavily. You are safe in the care of the great Papyrus and the mighty Undyne. What happened, Sans? Undyne asked in concern. I don't know. Some weird genocide run variant, I think. Sans finally found his voice. Some karate freak dunked me in an explosive judo throw. You mean Sagata Sanchiro? Papyrus asked in surprise. We were a white glass tube with him. And he was perfectly friendly with us. Then again, Frisk, Alfies, and both of us were all playing Bomberman and Soccer Wars on the Sega Siren together. You just let him past? Sans leaped up, glaring at them like they were insane. He killed literally every other monster in the underground. He did what? Ah, crap, I'm such an idiot. Undyne groaned and face-palmed. Note to self. Next time Sagatha Sanchiro visits the underground, make sure every citizen in the underground owns a Sega Saturn.